Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating running Meterpreter in Cobalt Strike with the help of SysWhispers to bypass antivirus on a fully up-to-date Windows Server 2019 machine as of June 9th, 2021. So right now you can see I'm looking at a Kali Linux virtual machine. First command we're going to want to run is just a simple ls to see what files we have in our current directory. And as you can see, we have two files here. First file is cs.exe, and this file will launch a Cobalt Strike beacon. And then we have meter.exe, which will spawn a meterpreter session. So now with those files ready to go, we can just set up a simple Python HTTP server so that these files can be downloaded on our Windows test VM. And then we're going to want to go to the Metasploit multi-handler to ensure that we have something set up to catch our session when it spawns. And as you can see here, we just have a uh, Windows 64-bit reverse HTTPS meterpreter set up ready to go. And I can just type the command exploit and click enter so that it's set up and ready to accept our shell. So now if we go to our Windows Server 2019 virtual machine, you can see if we check for updates that we should be fully up to date on the latest patch. So here you can see that there are no updates for us. And then if we go into um, the uh, check for updates under the virus and threat protection settings, um, you can also see that these are fully up to date as of June 9th, 2021. And under virus and threat protection settings, we can ensure that real time protection is turned on, cloud delivered protection is turned on, the only thing that's turned off is automatic sample submission so that our files are not sent to Microsoft for further analysis. And uh, there are no exclusions, so that shouldn't impact any testing. And there are also no controlled folders. So now that we've ensured that Defender is set up and up to date, we can open up a PowerShell session. And then the first command that we're gonna run is rather simple. Um, it's just a invoke web request uh, to download meter.exe from our simple Python HTTP web server and to save it uh, to the disk. So if I run this command, you can see that it looked like it saved to the disk without flagging Defender, so that's good. Now if I try to run the file, it will first ask me for a secret, which I can just grab and then paste into the terminal and then if I click enter I should be able to go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine and observe that a new meterpreter session was opened and if I try to type in a command such as sysinfo it should work with no problem and as you can see it looks like it's working great and I can even do a hash dump since I'm an administrator and ensure that all of Meterpreter's functionality is working uh, with no issue. And as you can see, if we go back to our virtual machine, it is still running even though Defender is completely up to date and enabled. So going back to Meterpreter, we can exit out of it. And now that Meterpreter has been shut down, we're ready to try our next file, which is cs.exe. So same thing we did before, just a simple uh, invoke web request to download the file. And then we're going to run it in the same way we did before. And we are also going to give it the same secret that we entered before. We can click enter. And once we do that, we can go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine. And as you can see here, we have our cs.exe process. And if we interact with it and try to do a simple shell who am I command, you can see that it's working with no issue and that we were able to successfully um, bypass the antivirus um, without it detecting our cobalt strike beacon. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick demo. It's really just a way to show um, what's still capable with syswhispers as of June 9th. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay around for some new videos coming soon.